Hello and welcome to Omi and Sedona Yoga. My name is Jennifer, I'll be your guide. Today we're heading out to Yavapai Vista for our self-confidence flow. If you're enjoying this video series, please remember to keep it going by hitting like, subscribe, and share. Let's begin your yoga workout and meditation. All right, let's begin our confidence flow. Go ahead and interlace your fingers. Start by limbering up our spine. Stretch overhead. And we're just going to take that to the side. Look up towards that gorgeous sky. And then just flow that on over to the other side. Looking up. Do that again. Either side. And back. One way to project self-confidence is to stand up nice and straight and tall. So we're going to work your spine a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a nice seated twist. Looking behind you. Now you can be seated in lotus or you can just take an easy sukhasana seated position. Whichever's best for you. Come back to center, lift up. And just take that to the other side. Membering up all angles of that spine. Bring yourself back to center. Untangle yourself if you're tangled and let's do a few cat cows to further limber along the frontal and dorsal planes of the body. So as you inhale, sink into the saddle of that low back. And as you exhale, think of making yourself like a scared Halloween kitty, pulling yourself up. Do that one or two more times for me, please. And come on back to a neutral spine. Let's work on that spine again. We're going to make it a little stronger. Go ahead and extend your right leg behind you. Take out your left arm. And just hold here. This pose activates your erector spinae muscles that line your spine, keeping you nice and straight and tall. Let's switch. Take that to the other side. Reaching long, extend from those fingertips, extend from the toes. Your neck is in one straight line with your spine. And let's take that just a little faster. Lifting with an inhale and lowering with an exhale. Lift and lower and lift with the breath and lowering with the breath. Practicing vinyasa, movement with breath starting to get acquainted with your body slow down the pace and drawing your awareness to any areas that might need a little attention and love today let's tuck those toes lift yourself up and back into your downward facing dog and let's just hold it here you can pedal your feet Walk your dog just a little bit. Again, move with your breath. So inhaling and exhaling. And just gently shifting, getting a little deeper into the move, finding the full expression. And when you're ready, bring your feet together. Let's hold your down dog for three nice breaths together, please. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhaling. And exhale. And on your last breath, start to walk yourself forward, please. Come into your forward fold and just surrender for this first one. You want to let your cross your arms here. I 
just kind of pendulum your way a little closer down you can. If you're holding on to your legs or ankles, that's fine. If you want to hook your first two fingers and pull yourself down, that's fine. Let's take one more deep breath here together in your forward fold, please. And as you exhale, release, bend your knees, swing yourself up to stand tall. Come to mountain pose at the front of your mat. Roll your shoulders back. You're standing tall. You're proud. Let's do three sun salutations to get our blood flowing. Inhaling up. Exhaling, swan dive down. Inhale to a flat spine. Exhale, either hop or walk yourself back to a plank, one nice long line. We're gonna chaturanga. I'll show you an option if you wanna bring your knees down. And lift up into your upward dog. Tuck your toes and lift up and back into your downward facing dog and hold for three nice deep breaths. And on the tail of your next exhale, either walk or hop yourself up to the front of the mat. Surrender to that forward fold. And then bend the knees, lift yourself all the way up. And exhaling, take yourself right back down, moving with that breath. Inhale to your flat spine. Exhale, step or hop, chaturanga, into your upward facing dog, tuck your toes, press yourself up and back into your downward dog for three breaths, please. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling the strength of your arms. And on your next exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Surrender to that forward fold for me, please. And lift all the way up, keeping that breath, body movement going. Last one, diving down, exhaling. Inhaling to a flat spine. Step or hop back, chaturanga into your upward dog, tucking your toes into your downward dog for three breaths, please. Doing so well. Exercise is a fabulous way to increase your self-confidence, your sense of worth, Let's take that right leg up into a down dog split, please. And then just let that hip fall open to the side a little bit here. Feel that opening. And then extend it up tall again. Bring that leg through. And we're gonna go into a nice low lunge. So bring that back knee down. Walk yourself up. So you're standing nice and tall. Arms come up and get a nice stretch in that front hip flexor. Holding each of these poses for three breaths, please. We're here at Yava Pai Point. It's in the village of Oak Creek here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. Let's lean back into a runner's stretch. Think of reaching out long first, making yourself tall. And then once you get it, you can start to round forward. Lift up, take that front leg down, 
tuck your back toes. We're going to come into a single leg forward fold. Let's just go ahead and surrender to that stretch. And release, place your weight in your hands. Just step yourself nice and easy back into that downward facing dog for a breath. Inhale. And exhale, step or hop into your forward fold. Bend the knees as you lift yourself up and return to your stately mountain pose, feeling every bit as confident as the mountains behind me. Let's get that on the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat spine. Step or hop. Chaturanga. In your upward facing dog. And then tuck your toes into your downward facing dog. Lift up into your down dog split. And once again, open that hip. Just let the leg fall to the side, opening that hip. Bring your leg through. Back knee comes down and just nice and easy walk yourself up. Arms come up overhead and go into your low lunge. And with your next exhale, those arms come down, press yourself back into that runner's stretch, reaching out long to start. And then surrender. You can round and do it if you like, or you can keep the extension. Either way, one thing my partner and I are looking into now are new microphone technology <laughs> so that I can bend and move a little more without losing you guys. Let's lift up, tuck that back toe, come into that single leg forward fold and release. I know I've mentioned this before that we're just actually two disabled people with a camera who had this crazy idea to bring the beauty of Sedona and natural healing to other people. So we're learning this as we go <laughs> and it's very much a learning curve but it's a fun one. It's a labor of love. And we want to hear from you. Let us know what you like and what you want to hear more of. Coming out of that single leg forward fold, just real easy. Step back into that downward dog. And let's just take a nice, easy stroll up to the front. Or you can hop if you like. Into your forward fold, bend those knees. Lift yourself up. Reach tall and relax into your mountain pose. Inhaling up, flowing into our next set of postures here, working our triangle. Exhale, surrender to your forward fold. Inhale to your flat spine. Exhale, step or hop. Chaturanga. I tend to do a little of each variation so you can see and pick the one that works for you. Everyone's body is different. Your postures might look slightly different than mine. As long as you're paying attention to your form and listening to your body, you'll be fine. Let's inhale that left leg up for our triangle. Sweep it through about three feet apart and come on up. Spread your arms wide. Stick out that hip. Take the front toes with your eyes first. 
and then lean down into that gorgeous triangle pose looking up at that beautiful sky creating space and bend that front knee to protect it as you come on up we're just going to helicopter it around and go into your revolve triangle and then again bending that front knee to protect it come on up pivot the feet your other toe goes out now shift that hip Take the toe with the eyes first and then reach down. If you can hook it with the first two fingers, that is fabulous. If that isn't happening for you today, just hold wherever you're comfortable. Looking up. a lovely day here in Sedona. It's been a little chillier lately. Let's rotate that around for our revolve triangle. Swan diving down, holding where you're able, where you're comfortable, looking up at that amazing sky. enough of this one bend that knee this time we're just gonna walk ourselves around and come into a wide leg forward fold take a second here to adjust if you can bring your elbows down go ahead and be my guest if not if you're here that's fine if you want to reach out and grab the toes to give yourself a little leverage that's fine too give me three nice deep breaths here And then inhale up to a flat spine. Exhale as you round. Roll yourself all the way up to the top. Stretch back and bring yourself to the front of your mat. Working into one more sun salutation here. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive it down. Inhale to a nice flat spine. Exhale, step or hop. Chaturanga your way down into your upward facing dog. Tuck those toes. Come into your downward facing dog. And this time we're just gonna hop through to seated. So put some weight in your arms. And just hop your legs through and then take a second to adjust yourself here sit nice and tall we're going to work into some spinal twists i'm going to come forward to show you this first one go ahead and just uh take this front leg and bend it you're going to take your opposite leg and cross it over and then just twist real nice and easy and gently behind you. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to go further, you can take an elbow. If you're a little more advanced still, you can reach down and grab the foot. Whatever works for your physical configuration. Let's give that a nice stretch. Looking behind you. Imagine that you're right here with this gorgeous backdrop. Hopefully you'll be able to come see us soon. Maybe put it on your post COVID bucket list to come visit Sedona. 
practice yoga with us. And just bring it back around to the front. Take this leg. You're just gonna kind of tuck your foot into your elbow. Give yourself a nice little hug here. You're sitting up nice and straight and tall. And then take your hands, wrap them around that foot if you can. Bring that foot out in front of you and hold that stretch. Now, if this doesn't work and you have to be here, that's fine. What I don't want you to do is kind of slouch into it like this. You want to keep that back nice and tall and proud. Remember, this is our self-confidence flow. So be confident, be proud. And then we're going to use our leg strength a little here. So just take that foot out, lift yourself up tall and let yourself fall to the side. If you can take the toe and roll around, that's great. If that's not happening and you want to put a hand here for support maybe and be there, that's great too. come up out of it. We're going to do one last final twist to bring this side full circle. So bend that leg, take this forward leg up into a half a lotus pose. Reach around and bind with the hand if you can and just turn around and stretch behind you. Again, if the binding, if this part isn't working, you can put your hand here or behind you to keep your back straight. Anything you need to make this workout work for your body. And release, come forward. Release those hands. Bring your feet out in front of you, and we're just going to shake it out a little here. Windshield wiper it out so that we can go to the other side. So now we're bending that right leg in. Take your left leg and cross it over top for our first twist. Remember your first option, you're sitting tall and just looking behind you. Option two is to take an elbow. If you can grab the foot and look behind, that's better yet. Working on that spine. Sometimes we tend to slouch not because we don't feel confident, but because our back hurts. And I'll tell you, as somebody that's come into that, give that front knee a hug, so tuck it into that elbow. And sitting straight and tall. If this isn't working, you can be here or holding, however, as long as you keep your spine straight. That's the critical thing to remember here. And then just take that foot and stretch it out in front, nice and long. But yes, as somebody with both degenerative disc disease and fibromyalgia, I'm here to tell you, yoga is one of the best things that you can do for your overall spine health. It is phenomenal. I probably could not walk today if it weren't for yoga. It was such a huge inspiration for this channel, just being able to keep my mobility through these exercises. Let's use that leg strength to bring that leg out to the side. Lift up straight and tall, and then just let yourself fold, grabbing those toes if you can, using your grip to kind of wiggle and get into the stretch more deeply. Play with it. Don't feel like you have to 
hold the pose all rigidly or anything like that. Move with your breath. Work into those muscles like a massage, those connective tissues, so that it feels good for you. And when you're ready, come on up. Let's take one last counter stretch the other way, a counter twist. Bring that foot up to lotus. Wrap around to bind if you can. Again, if the binding is like, <laughs> no, go ahead and put your hand down. Either way is fine. Excellent work. Let's untangle yourself here. Bring yourself around to lie down on your back now. We're going to work on your spine a little bit this way. So just roll yourself down. Your first option here is going to be to press up into your bridge pose. If you can, take your hand, interlace them underneath you, and just hold here. And release. Let's make this a little dynamic. So inhale, arms and legs come up. Exhale, release. We'll just do two or three more like that. If you kind of lost that breath body connection, now's a chance to reclaim it here. And release. We're going to take it up into wheel. If you don't like doing a back bend, please stay here. Do another bridge. Bring your hands beneath you. If you want to lift up into wheel, arms come back and press yourself up. Play with it a little bit. And come up on your tippy toes. Our heels down. Shift side to side. And when you're ready, nice and easy, rolling down onto that head. Bring your knees into your chest and give them a squeeze. Let's do a little supine work here. We'll start with some hamstrings. Let's go ahead and extend that left leg long, extend your right leg up and hold. You can rotate your ankle out here if you'd like. It feels really good if you've been on your feet all day. It might not technically be a yoga move, but that's okay. If you wanna point that toe you want to lift up and bring your chin towards your knee to deepen the stretch. Here's another great place too. If you have a strap that you can wrap around your leg to use that. And then bring your left arm down to your left hip to keep it planted. And we're just going to take that right leg out to the side. Hold. You got a little kind of weird position here on the rock. It's wanting me to roll down this cliff, so <laughs> it might be a little modified. That's okay. Bend that knee as you bring it into your chest for a supine twist. Take that to the side and look the opposite direction of your knee. A 
Bring those knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze for a minute. And then just take that on the other side, right leg coming up, stretching up and back. Again, if you want to rotate the ankle, that's an option. Or if you want to just hold the stretch, if you want to lift up, that's an option. And when you've had enough here, place your right hand on that right hip to keep it nice and flat. Looking the opposite way, extend that leg out to the side. Another great place to use a strap right here. Bend that knee as you bring it in. And supine twist, just take that to the side. And look towards that extended hand. knees into your chest. We're going to rock and roll our way up. Rocking and rolling. And come to sit center again. Just like we started. Easy Sukhasana seated position. I want to thank you for watching Only in Sedona Yoga. If you like this video series, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Namaste. Just relax here in your Shavasana position. Now's a good time as we segue into our meditation to make yourself super comfortable. If you have somebody at home with you, you can ask them to cover you up with a blanket. Or if you have one handy, go ahead and grab that. You want to support your lower legs with a few pillows. Prop up your knees. Lay some pillows under your back, under your head. Rest them on your belly. However you need to get comfortable in Shavasana. Take this time to make your body feel good. You're surrounding it by soft, comfort objects. And then just start drawing your awareness inward on your breath. We're just going to direct our love and our healing energy into any areas of our bodies that might still be feeling tense, tight, sore, bloated, yucky in any way. We're going to give it some love. So begin by practicing some two to one breathing here. Inhaling from the base of your belly, feeling it rise. If you want to place your hand on your belly, you can. And exhaling, feeling the chest sink, tummy deflate. Inhaling for four count for one, two, three, four. Pausing and exhaling for one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. As you inhale again, feeling that belly rise, imagine that you're sending white light and energy through every cell, every fiber of your body with your inhale. And as you exhale, imagine that white healing light forcing out any bit of darkness, sickness, yuckiness, bad negative feelings. Imagine that light chasing it away as you exhale. Release it, surrender it. You don't need it. Let that pain go. And as you continue your breathing here, I'd like you to draw your awareness to your feet. You might feel a mild tingling sensation when you focus your energy there. Examine if you feel any painful areas, if so. Just take the next few breaths to breathe into those areas. Fill them with healing white light. And focus on your exhalations and letting those muscle fibers loosen up and relax. Chasing away any pain. And continue moving at your own pace now moving up your body, drawing your awareness to your lower legs, and to your knees. If there's any pain in your knees, breathe into it. And exhale, chasing away the inflammation, visualize the tissues calming down. And relaxing. Picture the swelling, any swelling going down. It's your muscles and connected tissues and bones all rest in perfect health. And you're working your way up your body. Visualize your tummy. If you have any digestive issues, if feeling nauseous or you have any last any bits of diarrhea or bloating in the abdominal area, any distress. Imagine those smooth muscles of your lower and upper intestines easing up a bit. And some of that acidity drying up and going away. Continue imagining this white light energizing your spine, flowing up your spine. If you have any back pain, take a few minutes, a few breaths now to really breathe into your back using your exhalations 
and chase away any pain. And as you inhale, imagining white light illuminating your spinal column and healing all that pressure, all that tightness. Picture this white light and energy flowing down to your fingertips, healing your arms, eating any soreness you feel in your arm muscles. Imagine it now illuminating your skull, draw your awareness to your forehead that little line in the center, imagine it easing away, smoothing out any tightness around your eyes, just ease all those little muscles, let them let go, and clench your jaw if you tend to Grind your teeth, let your jaw relax. Just take a few breaths here as you visualize this white healing light and energy filling every cell in your body, chasing away any toxins chasing away any stress and negativity, chasing away sickness and inflammation, and restoring it to balance and health. And if you'd like at this point to drift off to sleep, please be my guest. If you'd like to come out of this, start wiggling your fingers and toes, please. Blink your eyes. Ever so gently roll over on your side. Take a second to realign your equilibrium, get your sense of equilibrium back. When you're ready, push yourself up to a seated position. And we'll close our practice with a namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with Only in Sedona Yoga. My name is Jennifer. Hopefully you ease some pain and you're feeling a little bit better than when you came in today. If you enjoy this series, please remember to like, subscribe, and share and help us keep going. With much love and hope for healing, we'll close our practice with a namaste. Take care.